Happy video day guys. Today we're going to be doing another basically end of the year type of video, but this is going to be all about like a regrets video. So I decided that I wanted to do this even though I know there might be, who knows, maybe like three more make up your minds before the end of the year. I figured I wanted to do this one now, kind of like to go over a majority of the items that I skipped over on during make up your mind. So if you guys don't know, I have this series on my channel that I created like a year ago when a new eyeshadow palette releases I search through my collection and I look for similar hues in my collection similar tones similar color and I try to mimic the color story so that I can kind of make a more educated guess on whether I think I want to pick up the palette by like seeing it in real life and a lot of times I shock myself when I do this practice because I'll think like I need this palette in my life and then when I realize like ooh there's so many of these similar tones in a certain palette or like there's certain colors in here that I just literally never use that I end up just saying, you know what, maybe I don't need this and I've saved so much money <laughs> doing that because I literally have skipped out on a lot of palettes and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over every single one of the ones that I said, no, I'm not gonna pick up and we're gonna see, was it worth it? Should I have picked it up? Am I having regrets? Am I thinking about it still? We're gonna see, do I still think that that was a good decision or do I think I should have picked it up? If you guys are excited, I would love it if you would hit subscribe, join the channel, leave me comments, do all that good stuff and let's get into it. So I'm gonna tell you guys, when I was making this list, I could not believe how many palettes, like I just literally wanna show you, I, I don't know if you guys can even see this, but when I was doing this, I was like, holy cannolis, I, said no to a lot of palettes, but not even that. There was so many releases because these are just the ones I said no to, but then there was some that I said yes to that I ended up picking up that are in addition to this. So I honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The beauty YouTubers that pick up every single new release, I don't know how they do it. So the first one in the beginning of the year was the Pat McGrath Gold Opulence Palette. Now I remember when this one released, I did really, really love it. I thought it was so pretty. It had like those neutral tones in it, but it had that gold that I was kind of like over already, which you guys know by now, I'm like completely over that gold. But at this point, it wasn't like annoying me yet, but I kind of was like oh, maybe maybe not I ended up skipping out on it and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I am so happy that I didn't pick up this palette <laughs> because like if I was like a psychic and I would have known that celestial divinity was gonna come out at the end of the year and I was gonna get so much from Pat McGrath in one palette that was cheaper packaging maybe is not that great but who cares because I got so many tones from Pat McGrath and let me tell you such good quality I probably would have been so pissed picking up a lot of these palettes throughout the year and I know I know some people just love to collect Pat McGrath they love her formula and I totally understand that I have a problem with Natasha Denona I pick up so many of her palettes but I'm just really happy I didn't get this one because we're looking at it I'm like Ugh. a few of these colors I do feel like I probably got something similar in my celestial divinity and I really love that palette so that's one I'm happy that I didn't pick up Okay, so the next one that I ended up doing was the Amarizi and Anastasia collaboration palette. Now, I don't regret not picking this one up like at all. Like, I personally just don't really like love this color story. It was to me like one of those palettes that they put like a pop of color in it so that you'd be like, wow, that's so different, you know? And it's a blue and I tend to never use blue. I'm one of those people who believes that blue looks so cool in palettes because it does that pop, but you really need to think like, how many times do you use blue? How many blues do you have? And for me, I've got a lot of blue in my collection and I never use blue. So it was just didn't really make sense for me to pick up this palette and I still feel like that was a very good decision. I do remember when this one came out, it was one of those that I was very tempted to get it because of reviewing makeup, like I really just wanted to get it, like to get it and be like, oh, I got my review. But I have to kind of be true to myself as well. And when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, Christina, but you know, to spend the money on this, I know that you're not gonna love it. It's like a neutral palette with a few pops in it. And you've got some neutral palettes that you already love. So I'm happy I ended up skipping out on that one. It was also, you know, typical Anastasia pricing, but so now we have the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette. So this is another one that looking back on it now, 
I am happy I didn't pick this up. I do feel like if you guys haven't seen my new Make Up Your Mind on her new palettes that she's coming out with, I mean, if you picked up this palette, this Instant Eye palette, I mean, there's very similar tones in here. I mean, I feel like Charlotte tends to be a little repetitive with these kind of shades, which I understand why she is because they're just those type of they're those type of colors that just look so good. They're just not hard to create eye looks with and Charlotte's all about easy, effortless, beautiful looks. So I understand why she likes to repeat these kind of tones, but I feel like if you got this one, you probably wouldn't need the ones that are coming out now and that happens a lot with her. So the next one is Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2. Now I'm gonna be honest with this one. I still think that this one would have been a cool palette to add. Um, did it go on sale at Sephora just recently? Did it? Did it go on sale or is it? It probably will. Like, I think like this is like the type of palette that you will see on sale. Um, so I'm happy I didn't pay full price for it. Do I think I would pick it up? I, I may. I have to tell you guys, the Rustic Glam from Domini Cosmetics is just so good. It's such a good palette that I just know that her quality is good. Like she has good quality palettes. I always wanted the original Latte palette. So I don't know, I mean, maybe maybe it wouldn't be worth picking up the Latte too. I think maybe I should just wait around and maybe one day pick up the original Latte because I think that's the one that I really like. I don't know. So this one gives me like a back and forth. I think if I would have gotten this one, I wouldn't have been like, what a waste. I probably would have been like, oh nice, I have it. But it's not like I'm screaming, crying, like I should have got it, you know what I mean? Okay, so Natasha Denona Love Palette. Now, here's the thing guys. Here's the thing, I love Natasha Denona. Like, people love Pat McGrath, I love Natasha Denona. But I cannot say she does no wrong. Because the love palette to me was like so opposite of anything that I would ever wanna pick up. It looked to me like just a typical like Valentine's release, like ooh, look at the pinks and the purples and the yay and the Valentine's and I don't want to spend that much money on Valentine eyes, you know, and I feel like at that time I felt that way and to this day I feel that way. Like, I don't really like these gimmicky themed palettes unless you're giving me something that is so cool. I feel like this palette could have been done in a way that maybe I would have loved it, but it was like almost there, but and then when I looked at it closely, I started to realize a lot of your looks were gonna be very pink, and I just don't like pink on the lid. Actually, I doubt that this palette is gonna be in like everybody's favorites video. I would love to see the favorites video, see if anybody really loves this palette for the whole year. I feel like this was just one that may have just like gotten brushed under the rug and a lot of people may have forgotten about it. Okay, so the Kylie Cosmetics Stormy palette. Now I remember thinking it was cute and it had like an interesting color story, but to be honest, I feel like Kylie Cosmetics never comes out with a palette that I like say yay. And I want to try Kylie Cosmetics, but I don't have any palette yet that I'm like, I need to try this palette, you know? So I feel for me right now, it's just like, I'm happy I didn't get the Stormy palette. I don't think it got like the best reviews. And it's like another palette that I don't believe is going to be in anybody's like best of the year palette. And yeah, I mean, too Faced Natural Nudes. Now, I remember liking this, like showing you guys this and being like, hey, I like this. And I know that sometimes people think like these neutral brownie palettes are so boring, but I think it's always good to have a palette like this type of palette in your collection because it's just so easy. Now, Too Faced is not my favorite formula. Too Faced also loves to put scents in their products and that kind of annoys me because I don't like makeup with scents in it. Like I just don't like, I don't even like it when they put a scent in foundation. Just don't understand the point of it. It's for your face. I, I'm not gonna eat it. So I don't really want it to smell, you know? So I don't really get that part of Too Faced. I don't know if this one actually had a scent to it. Maybe it didn't, but I really liked the color story. Not the biggest fan of like Too Faced's formula. So the fact that I skipped on this one, I'm not crying about it and I do think that I remember from the video that I thought that the soft glam had like a similarity to it. And man, do I love my soft glam, so I'm good. Let me tell you though, if I find this palette for like $12 or something like ridiculous, like at a TJ Maxx or something, because I think people have seen it there, 
maybe I pick it up. Melt Cosmetics Millennial Pinks. So I remember thinking from the image that this was a cool color story. And when I did my Make Up Your Mind, I loved the look I like created, like pretending that I had the Millennial Pinks, you know, like with the items in my collection. And I actually thought, you know what? This could actually be a really cool palette. Now looking back on it, I'm happy that I didn't get this one either. I don't feel like I have a buyer's regret for it because it's just not a color story I tend to use very often. I did end up getting the mini retro, which is what I have on my lids today. And I think maybe is one of the most similar kind of color stories to this. And man, that retro is really good. So, I mean, I think I'm okay. I also think the price tag of Melt Cosmetics is what kind of draws me away from them a little bit. Like I know that their quality is there, but then I really need the palette to be like a hundred, you know, like it has to be a hundred percent what I want to spend that money. Okay, so now we've got two that I'm so happy I didn't get. So the Jeffree Star Blood Lust. I remember thinking the color story of this was so unique. I do think Jeffree Star has something very creative when he comes up with these color stories. They're very different. But now looking back on it, I'm like, well, I would never use like a lot of those colors together. It's a cool color story. Also, I've had like, I, I've been giving Jeffree Star a little break lately because he, there's just been way too much controversy with that man. I did a Make Up Your Mind on his Orgy palette and I, I remember like a lot of the comments were like very negative because I did a Make Up Your Mind on a Jeffree Star product. And I just said, you know what? I don't think anybody wants to see Jeffree Star right now. Okay, so the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. This was the part two. Yeah, this one, I don't even want to waste too much time on it, but it is so not my color story. You guys saw what I said about the, um, you guys saw what I said about the Love Palette. So can you imagine getting those pinks from the Love Palette and literally toning them up to a saturation that is literally pink? This is just not me. Okay, so the Huda Pastel Obsessions. This is another one that I'm happy I didn't get. I mean, so far, so far I'm pretty happy with the choices here. And the reason I'm happy I didn't get these is because pastels were like in for a minute and then the world changed. And then I feel like pastels like disappeared. Like the moment of pastels was like completely gone and everybody forgot about pastels. So I'm so happy I didn't get this because this would have been like, the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes. I don't regret not getting this one, and I do know some people really like this palette as well, and I've actually seen people talk really good about this palette, but every time I look at it, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't see the amazing part of it. There's parts of it that look pretty, like it is pretty, you know, but at least it's different for Charlotte Tilbury. I think that was that was a good thing. It was definitely different, and I'm so happy that it was different. It's just not what I was wanting. You know, I guess I had a, a like an idea of what I wanted to see from her, and it wasn't this. So Huda Beauty Haze Sand and Purple Haze. So I ended up picking up the Khaki Obsessions. I really love that palette. The other two I ended up skipping out on. And I don't really regret it, to be honest, because I actually did see them in Sephora just recently, and I looked at them and I was like, well, should I get one? Because I really love the khaki one. But looking at them, none of them really like made me want to get them. I do know that there was one here that was like my second runner up. I think it was the sand. I think the sand one I was thinking of getting. But in person, it didn't draw me in. So I'm okay, you know? Okay, so now this one I have the biggest buyer's regret and this is not my Make Up Your Mind's fault because I said I was gonna buy this. This is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus. I wanted this palette, I really wanted it. And even in my Make Up Your Mind, I said, yes, I'm getting this. And I literally forgot to put my alarm, completely forgot. And I remember being outside walking my daughter because we go on our little walks together. Was, I said, oh no, it's one o'clock. And I think the release was like at 12. So I ran to the computer to try to get it and the site was down and it said like, no, you know, like something happened, too many people came on site. So they said that they were gonna release it the next day. And I'm like, okay, the next day. So I have to remember to put everything and remember about it, you know? And I was just so proud of myself because even though I forgot to like notify myself, I still got to the computer on time. Like I would have gotten it. But then when they pushed it to the next day, life happened. I don't even know if I put it like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I ended up putting on the alarm for the next day, but I didn't realize the palette had launched until like two o'clock or something. And by that time, 
everything was sold out. The entire thing was sold out. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I missed it all. So the Makeup Morrow Master Metallics. So you guys know I got the mattes, obsessed with the mattes. So would that make me wanna get the metallics? No. So I'm still happy I did not get that metallic palette. I look at it and I still don't love it. Like, it's just like a pop palette. I don't really love pop palettes. I never tend to just like pick out a metallic palette and lay it down in front of me and say, when I want to get a metallic, I'll just grab it from here. I tend to never do that. I do that with mattes, but not with metallics. So I'm happy that I ended up skipping this one and I don't regret it. Okay, so the KKW Beauty Opulence Palette. No, I'm happy I didn't get this one. I remember there was like one color that I thought was cool, but I did find it in my collection. And other than that, the palette was pretty and I think that somebody who liked purples would like it. It was just like not my palette, you know? Okay, the Holiday Quads from Mario. This is another one, guys, that honestly... I don't have that much interest in them. And even after doing the Make Up Your Mind, it wasn't really like something I wanted. I saw them at Sephora one day when I went. I think it was during the holiday sale just recently. And I even had money from Magic Links that they sent me in order to buy product. And this is not something that could make my list. So I know that I, I didn't, you know, I it was not attracting me like at all. Okay, so the Huda gold obsessions you guys this is one of my most recent make up your minds and i remember just saying like it's just gold like i know that that's the point of it was to be gold but it's just like all gold and i don't know i think that that palette could have been a little bit more i think it was lacking just a little bit and it was just like not not something i needed especially now i just don't need that one so in the last make up your mind that as of right now i've done i think that i'm gonna have one up tomorrow on charlotte tilbury so you guys will probably see that before this video but um the on the fly palettes so these are the minis that just released from it too faced and like i said in that video some of them look cuter than other ones but as i was looking for them in my collection guys i literally have all of these palettes like in other palettes in my collection but i feel like i was able to find them just way too easy and none of them really like stood out to me like you need this palette so i'm happy i skipped this one too. so that is it that is every single palette that i have done a make up your mind on for the year and said no to so i have to tell you guys based off of my regrets i don't think i regret that many and that's mostly because I actually swatched them out of my arm and looked at the color story before I purchased them. So I'm not like sad about it, you know? I feel like if I didn't do Make Up Your Mind and I just purchased palettes, I probably would have the biggest regrets video. <laughs> I probably would regret so many of them because coming from like just this video alone, I can tell a lot of these color stories just don't, they just don't feel like they're me, you know? So so anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't seen my Make Up Your Mind series and you guys wanna check it out, I'm gonna throw my playlist right up here so you guys can see all of the videos. There's so many. I think, you guys, I'm close to like 70 Make Up Your Minds, which is insane. So thanks so much for watching and yeah, I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.